All right, so on this one, we're going to be looking at, well, the data mines, right? So we have Majub, who was leaked in the V-Jump. Um, yes, it is Majub. If you look, he has the vest and all that, so it's Majub, not just Oob, because Oob would have just the uh, green clothes. Majub is when he fuses with Boo, merging, whatever he does, whatever they deem it, because it matters, actually, is they deem it fusion, then he'll be on fusion warriors. If not, then he won't be on fusion warriors and regen, because... Ma, you know, Boo is regen. Um, Oob being reincarnation of Boo would make sense if he got that tag as well. Then a GT Super Saiyan 3 Kid Goku. Saiyan buff? Okay. Um, look, if he's blue, I'll be fine with it because he's not going to replace Namek Goku on Saiyans, but he's going to replace Ice on GT. So Oob, or Majub, being yellow, good, could replace Nova. And then this Goku, if he's blue, will probably replace Ice Shenron. Then we have this event, get Final Form Frieza, the EX one, uh, get Z power for him. His Z ability is, what, double defense for LOE and powerful opponent, I think? Not bad, uh, just a good, you know, whatever, uh, bench unit if you really need one. Uh, by the way, just, this Goku's art is fucking beautiful, like, wow. I really like both arts, actually, I'm surprised. Usually I dislike one of them, they're both beautiful. Then we have Piccolo's Zenkai coming, um, the information we have right now, obviously I'll come back when like we get the kits and everything, is just their sleeves and all this. And yes, the Goku banner and the Majub, you know, will be an all-star banner. Thankfully, this mystery ticket will be for the next LF. You'll do adventures this week and next week, and then you'll have this mystery ticket saved up for the next LF banner that's coming like they've done in the past. Three new equipments here. And Piccolo's sleeves are beautiful, by the way. I like them a lot. Like, as good as Turles. Uh, and LOE equipment, presumably. Probably one of these will be a powerful opponent equipment. What the hell? <laughs> In this image, it looks like his arms are ripped off. Hmm, interesting. Well, what is this going to be? Will that be a plat? I don't know. I'm not sure, actually. That's interesting. We're getting a Kefla faced equipment when we're getting GT and Dragon Ball Z units, but okay, sure, why not? Again, the event right there, and then to show off, it's an all-star banner once again. Legends all-star, if you don't know how all-stars work, basically, you pull the unit once, and it's, you know, well, firstly, it's a guaranteed sparking, every multi, no step-ups, no nothing, and there's dailies. Then, you pull the unit once, you can buy their Z power slash their pack, I guess you'd call it, to get them essentially from two stars to about five stars, and if you use your own Z power from like the Sparking Metal Coin, the you know I don't know Hoi Poi that you got it from, uh, co-op shop wherever you have Z power saved up PVP, uh, you can get them to six stars from that. So you two star them from a daily something like that, then you buy their missions, 2000 CC, get them to five stars basically, then from there on you just use them at six, get that double Z ability or whatever it is. And then you're set. All stars are probably the best value thing that is currently out in Legends. So good to see them actually returning. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like we have a new EX, just these two units, which, you know, is fine. You get a Bardock or Trunks animation, you will be getting one of these two units. So if you do get that animation, great. And if you don't, well, <laughs> maybe the GSP will bless you. Who knows? Uh, we'll come back when their kit info for like the Goku, Majub, and Piccolo drop. I. I have very high hopes for this Piccolo, and this Goku, I hope he's pretty tuned down because I don't want him to replace anybody. I just want him to be good for GT, so he doesn't really need to be that good. just needs to be good enough. It's not hard to do. Let's see what comes next. Alright, so here is, well, the banner, right? We have Majub and Super Saiyan 3 Kid Goku, and it is an all-star, obviously, with a guaranteed sparking at the end, like I mentioned. And yes, he is Majub, and we're going to look at their colors, I already saw them, but to look at the banner, very good banner. Um, Revival Goku returning, very good. DKP, very good. Yellow Broly, okay. Purple Hit, very good. Gokua, yes, all of the Extreme Anniversary units are back already. They are. Yes, even the Gohan banner ones, we'll see them as we go through. Vegeta, very good. Final Form Frieza, pretty good. Metal Cooler, pretty good. This Vegeta, pretty bad. Super Saiyan Goku, pretty bad. Yamcha is not terrible. Baby Vegeta is pretty bad. Super Baby 2, bad. Super Saiyan 4, Vegeta, and Goku, bad. If they're not Zenkais. And then regular GT, Goku is pretty bad. Along with launch being okay. Then you see it here. All the EX units from the anniversary. 
are back. Gokua being back is very good against the hybrid meta, but to look at Majub and Super Saiyan 3 Goku, then obviously, you know, Piccolo. God, they're still updating the server. Um, hmm. Okay, I'm gonna refresh three more times. If not, then I'm just gonna cut here and then come back, because, oh, there it is. Third time worked. All right, what is he? He's not on regen. What? Wait, what? He's not on regen or super warriors? He's on fusions, but not regen. That means it's him fused with Boo. Oh, they did him dirty. Oh, I don't like that. All right, let's look at him at six stars. Okay. He's blast based. That does, I don't, I don't like that at all. Blast based, but his stats are pretty similar. Strike and blast. Okay. Well, let's see his kit. Uh, maybe he doesn't need it, right? Main ability is draw the ultimate arts card cycle and stream next. If it was ally, health by 15% and key by 40, plus 40% to blast damage inflicted for 20 timer counts, and increases his own arts card draw speed by two levels for 10 timer counts. That's really good. That's a really good main ability. Nice. All right. Unique ability, Fateful Fusion, plus 15% of damage inflicted by allies when battle starts cannot be canceled. Plus one effects to self when this character ends the battlefield. Restores key by 40, plus 70% of damage inflicted cannot be stacked. Reduce damage by 30% cannot be stacked. And draw special arts card next, activates once. Latent Majin Power, seals enemy strike arts when changing cover. Hmm, not bad. Well, hmm. If they come in at the end of your combo, that's okay. But if they come in like mid-combo, it doesn't do anything because they'll be unsealed by the time it's done. This sealed arts cannot be used for three counts. Applies full effects to self every time an arts card is drawn while this card is on battlefield. Mmm. Okay. It's gonna be good, I hope. Strike arts card. Plus 30% to Wait, what? Plus 30% chance for next strike arts to inflict enemy paralyzed on him. Oh my god, that's cancer. Okay, it doesn't stack. That's good. Then Blast Arts card, minus 3 to Blast Arts, calls for 15 time counts. That's pretty good. And that's every time an Arts card is drawn. So every time he draws a Blast, he's getting minus 3. Blast. Okay, that's not bad. With double card draw speed on his main, he's in a combo for a while. If he draws a Special Arts card, reduce the next damage seen by 25%, cannot be stacked. Uh, that counts if he does a tap attack on your Maju, but then that 25% is gone. Can't be stacked and applies until enemy combos end. Then special move arts, he gets 25% to special move damage inflicted for 15 timer counts. Oh! Restore his own health by 20% only once when he reaches zero. Oh, he has endurance! Huh. That's not bad. Alright, let's see. He wants, he draws green cards. Let's see what he does with it. Majin Beam, you can teach it. Deals ma or massive impact damage, cancels enemy attribute upgrades on hit, activates twice. Hopefully it's a quick animation. Then it'd be very good. Brutal Buster. Applies flying effects to self upon activation. Randomly draws one new card. Okay. It is a barrier, I believe. Uh, yeah, it's most likely a barrier because it combos into all this. Randomly draws one new card. Restores key by 50. Plus 50% 50 to next arts damage inflicted cannot be stacked. Applies buff effect. Nullify special cover change for three counts. So I assume you want to combo this into like a strike or a blast. Nullify their cover change. Then throw a blue card from that to cancel their buffs. Ideally, right? Not bad. Ultimate skill, Cyclone Stream, deals massive impact damage, applies full effects to self upon activation, plus 30% to ultimate damage inflicted through three timer counts, plus attribute upgrade minus 50% to enemies to sustain damage cut effects for three timer counts, then applies full effects to all enemies on a hit. Reduce key by 70, inflicts attribute downgrade minus 80% to health restored for 40 timer counts. Not bad. And his blast arts heals him. Nice. Okay. Wow. Um, shitty that he's not on regen, but uh, being on Fusion Warrior is fine enough, I guess. They do have Gogeta Blue already, so he's not going to make the biggest difference. But, I mean, if you don't have Gogeta Blue, then this guy will be a good option for your yellow. Six stars, he does 30% to Fusion Warrior or GT Strike and Blast Attack. And 50% to character that is both Fusion Warrior GT, so super same for Gogeta and himself. He's going to give an extra strike defense buff too. Now to look at Super Saiyan 3 Gok please. <laughs> Thank you. Also, uh, just notice their colors. Maju being yellow, Goku being blue. They're replacing Ice and Nova just after they just dropped. So, anniversary didn't matter at all for GT Banner. Just saying, because Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta replaced by Super 17, and then these two replacing the other two. Awesome. What is he? I didn't look at him. He is um, normal tags, melee type. All right, let's see what he does. 
So to go over his stuff here, eh, critical is actually a little bit high. Care Restore is a little bit low. Main ability, does it hurt? Draw the ultimate arts card, Super Dragon Fist. And that Super Dragon Fist, or Flash next. I don't know why it's Flash, but sure. Restores own health by 20% and key by 40. Plus 40% of damage flicks or 15 timing counts cannot be canceled. Reduce damage by 20% for 15 timing counts cannot be canceled. Okay. It's not the greatest. It's alright, though. Uh, unique ability, high speed fist. Applies home effects itself when its character ends the battlefield. Plus 20% to damage flicker cannot be cancelled. Plus 15% or 15% to damage flicker 10 time accounts cannot be cancelled. Okay. Uh, reduce CMC by 40% for 10 time accounts cannot be cancelled. And increase card just by 2 levels for 10 time accounts. What the hell? Uncancelable. What? He's gonna be good. Reduce CMC by 40% and double uncancelable attack buffs and double card draw speed that can't be cancelled just because he's coming in with Majub supporting or Super Saiyan for Goku okay that'll be good uh, applies flame effects to self every time this character uses striker blast arts card so the uh, LF Broly effect right so Majub has the green Goku black effect this guy well in a sense right he's gaining stuff while he's drawing a card this guy has the LF Broly effect or the Android 18 uh, Blue one. Plus 15% to damage inflictor five time accounts. Okay. Plus four percent to cure cover five time accounts and my street strike and blast arts cost for five time accounts. Yeah, he's gonna do well. Damn. Every time he uses the cards, so let's say he uses two cards, the 30%, then he has a hundred percent right there, just from his uniques. Then his main ability gives another 40%. Dude, this guy can Holy shit. If you, like, swap in and out of him, like, in a weird scenario, he'll have 60% cut. And in two cards, he'll have 140% damage inflicted. Dude, this guy's gonna have, like, really, really ramp up damage. And this guy's gonna be good. Okay, wow. Okay, blue card, Super Kamehameha. Uh, long beam animation, nice. Uh, hopefully it's a short animation, though. Deals major impact damage, plus 30% special move damage inflicted, three time counts upon activation. And shortens ally sub count by three on hit. That's very good. Just that secondary part's good enough. And then his green card shatter blast restores his own key by 20 upon activation. The fly effects occur on a hit. Is this an AoE green card? We don't know because we haven't seen like their animations and shit. What is this? I doubt it's a barrier just like Majub. What is this? Whatever. Uh, the shortens ally sub count by three. Destroys all of your own cards and randomly draws four new ones. What is this? Because it's a mid to close range animation. That's either a barrier or it's an AoE green card. I mean, nonetheless, it's going to be very good. And it can combo into a strike, blast, special move, and ultimate. I don't know what it is. If it's an AoE green card, that's going to be crazy. Uh, it might be a long animation, which would make it, you know, not as good. But if this is like a barrier, I don't think you'll have a barrier, but it could be. That'd be cool. Uh, Super Dragon Flash deals massive impact damage, plus 4% to ultimate damage inflicted or two time counts upon activation. And Jordan's ally sub count by 5 on hit. Not bad. Does it have blast armor? It doesn't have blast armor. That sucks. Obviously, double strike and buff strikes when uh, he has a strike card held. 30% to GT or Sun Family based strike attack defense, and 50% to characters that are both GT and Sun Family based blast attack. Okay, so you want to run him on GT, most likely, because you have a name of Goku, you know. You really want to run him on GT. Okay. He looks good. Um, he's not going to replace name of Goku, but on GT, he's definitely going to be a main option with Majub over the Shadow Dragons. Now, to look real quick at... Please. Please just work. Uh, Piccolo, because his Zenkai information should be out here somewhere. If we could just find him. There you are. Let's look at this man, right? So I look at his 14 star stats because he should have him there. Decent blast. Decent strike. Holy shit, they really gave him a lot of buffs to his stats. Wow, his stats really went up high. Holy hell. Nice. I like that. Okay, he has the same thing here. Nothing changed on his main ability. Uh, nullifies uh, unfavorable element factor. For, ten, for, for 45 timer counts, I can't speak. Sorry. Um, obviously, that means goes neutral. Plus 50 percent damage inflicted, 30 time accounts, and takes 10 counts to activate. Intimidate, sustain blast damage up, inflicts all enemies as we downgrade. Plus 35% to blast damage received for 20 time accounts when this character enters the battlefield. 
plus 50% to blast damage inflicted against Tag Future or Android. So it's not more if they're both, right? So if it's like a cell, he's not going to get 100%. It's just 50. Interesting. Uh, Silent Barrage. Applies flame effects to self when this character enters the battlefield. Restores key by 20. Randomly draws one new card when you have three or fewer. The decision to fight. Unlocks that powerful... Uh, yeah, I need to read that, but fuck it. Plus, flame effects to self when battle starts. Plus 30% of damage inflicted cannot be cancelled. And reduced damage received by 10% cannot be cancelled. That's it? Oh, they gave him nothing. Dude, he's gonna hit so light. Oh, that sucks. Dude, they gave him legitimate nothing they gave him a stat increase and nothing else damn that sucks and obviously blue regen damn that sucks yeah he ain't replacing lf kid boo uh thankfully right yeah he's i don't even think he's replacing android 21 on regen wow damn they did him dirty um wow uh, i'm gonna look at when the banner drops by the way i didn't check it could should be tonight right 7 31 what's today's date I'm actually unsure of this oh sorry that dropped that was a charger Oh, it doesn't drop tonight. Okay, so I assume Piccolo drops tonight. And yeah, I kind of figured this guy would drop on the weekend. I <laughs> tweeted about it. Alright, so these two drop this weekend. Piccolo drops tonight. Uh, PvP maintenance does go on until what? Uh, yeah, there he is. He drops tonight. Uh, PvP maintenance goes on until 5 a.m. So, you guys tell me at the end of this, if you made it to the end of this video, if you guys want to see Piccolo showcase instantly at 5 a.m., I could just do it at 1 p.m. normal time, you know, because we won't have much content anyways, so doing it at 1 p.m. would be fine with me. Let me know what you guys think of their units, the kits, if they're good, bad, I really think. I think Majum's good, or I can't even speak. Majum is good, and Super Saiyan 3 Goku is better. He is, just has everything that's uncancelable, and he's going to get a lot of damage. He's going to remind you of LF Broly with how much damage he can do very, very, very quickly. And he's a non-LF, so you can get him high stars pretty easily with an all-star banner. Let me know what you guys think. And yeah, uh, if you guys want to see this instant showcase at 5 a.m., let me know. But if not, I'll see you guys at 1 p.m. for the, uh, you know, Kamikolo showcase. I'll see you guys in the next one.